one of the major factors, when you learn history and you really study it, you have to try and put yourself in the shoes of the people who are living the history. And what that means is sometimes dealing with and grappling with really ugly arguments of the past, really bad yeah. moral standards of the past, and trying to think, why would somebody have thought this at the time? And try to steal man a bunch of bad arguments so you can understand why those arguments are wrong. People have a tough time doing that because they immediately feel as though if I even spend one minute in the head of a person whose ideals I don't like, this makes me that person and therefore I'm very, very bad. And the problem with this, of course, is that to study history and to prevent it, you have to understand human beings are inherently sinful. And 100 years, forget 100, 10 years from now, people are going to look back at a bunch of the thoughts that we have, and they're going to be judging us for how terrible we are at the time. And so right. if you wish to foreclose the worst in human nature, if you wish to stop yourself from being the worst version of you, you have to spend some time thinking about some of the worst thoughts humans have ever had and say, why did people agree with this? Why were people willing to go along with this? That's the best way to learn and not fall into the same traps. Right. That makes sense.